The future of vehicles is autonomy. However, to be able to achieve the future autonomous vision, we need to do testing. And so to do the testing, we need to practice the processes of autonomy on public roads. These trucks were designed to operate autonomously in an off-road environment. But this year, Army's goal is to operate these trucks on public roads. Army's logistics operate both on-road and off-road. So we need the system to operate in both environments, not just in the forward environments. And that's how we see the value proposition of the leader follower capability as we go forward. We've come a long way since Managita, where we tested our technology and identified that there were some gaps. And we've, uh, since then, we have filled those gaps. We've come to Bathurst, particularly around event time, because it provides us an opportunity to test in a semi-controlled environment. Supercars are able to control the access on and off the track, and so it provides us an opportunity to interact with vulnerable road users and a controlled amount of other road users so that we can test the system in a public road, but also have access to real traffic. We do need to do the testing in the most uh, demanding environment, which is in and around the public, with other variables such as other road users, so that we can ensure it's performing as we need it to perform. This is really the first time in my experience that any automated vehicle, not the least three automated vehicles, have been able to operate in a convoy on public roads in Australia. Supercars have been fantastic in providing us access to the track, sufficient for our testing, and the reception by the Bathurst public has been wonderful, really well received. We have done uh, some trials here at Bathurst and we are extremely happy the way the technology has performed. We are really happy. Part of the overall journey is what is the right size autonomy for the task? How can we use that autonomy and how do we know it's working correctly and to the right standard? We've been able to successfully satisfy the requirements of councils, uh, demonstrate some of the safety features to give them confidence to allow them to issue us a permit on public roads. At Point Cook, we demonstrated some new capabilities. What we demonstrated that you can walk in front of a truck and it knows your intention and it stops. Another one was that vehicle, they can come in and go out and like a zip line and then the technology is aware of it and can accommodate for that. Mount Panorama was the next step for us. There were a few other road users as well, pedestrians, cyclists, and lots of vehicles. And although we had that traffic management system in place, we were able to operate in that environment. So that is really a great, great uh, advancement in Australia. We have compared our technology with other countries and uh, we are confident that our technology performs better and we are at the forefront. And thanks to Australian Army has given us the opportunity to develop this technology. The next step is a realistic logistic trial where we will load a vehicle at an airfield simulating the arrival of freight into a theatre of operations, a trial on the public road in Victoria with delivery to a military training area where we can try operating the system with a much lower level of supervision of the autonomous platform. And so that gets us into a much more realistic environment and a realistic setting to test those parameters. So the leader convoy concept, uh, whilst it works for Army, will work commercially for quite a number of operators as well. And we have that technology developed here in Australia. At times it feels like we're progressing quite slowly, but when you look back at how much we've achieved in just over 12 months, it is quite remarkable. Yeah, we are very much excited, you know, to take the technology to its next phase, which would be taking it to public roads, among other cars, trucks, motorbikes, and interweave our technology among other technologies to perform the way it should. We bring that whole industry capability and we build up that industry capability because I can imagine a future where our cars and our trucks natively come with a lot of this technology.
I'm proud of the team and the accomplishments that we've had and the persistence that they've shown throughout the project. Every time we achieve something, then we think bigger and dream bigger and, and work hard to achieve the next vision. I couldn't be more delighted than I am with the way Leader Follower is working out. Really remarkable journey that we've been on over the past few years. It's just remarkable we've continued the momentum that we have. And to have the vehicles driving around the iconic circuit at Bathurst is just extraordinary.